all I want for Christmas I is shoes. I can't even do it. I love shoes, that song so much. Baby. See ya. I just me. want some heels and flats, boots that go up to my... It's uh, <laughs> Cardi B <laughs> and Frank, Krisha and Frank on, uh, <laughs> on your podcast, <laughs> on your YouTubies. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. It's Christmas week. How about that? I know. Let's just be done. Let's just get it all done with. No, 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 because hmm. as you'll notice... Uh-huh. That uh, here at the uh, uh, Casa de Murphy or the podcast Casa de Murphy, the podcast the Ponderosa podcast Mansion. Oh, podcast Ponderosa is what I just thought of. I well, you're going to need more farm animals, but I do I like have zero farm. I animals. do like that we're at the podcast mansion. How is it? See, I guess because I live we, here. I we don't came think back from it. the parade, and you mentioned that we oh you, we could do the podcast from the upper level deck. <laughs> Which we can't. I was like, yeah. Really, because Jerry would have a conniption. Right. Because it would mean, well, actually, through the guest bedroom. I don't want Jerry to have any kind of niption. <laughs> a con or any other kind. Or pro niption. Right. No, no niptions. No niptions. So, but, uh, I mean, it could be done if we really wanted to. Right. We almost so, caught one of her scarves on fire earlier, so. <laughs> <laughs> but Just we, things that happen. But we have, we have double decks in the front. You do. You are a double deck. I thought that from the upper upper deck, you might get a nicer view of the Smoky Mountains. Well, you would get a view of the Christmas tree across the street. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, we're gonna have to show that picture because it's okay. Fantastic. Would you like? To, would you like to do it, Jeannie? I would. Ready? Yes. Okay. <gasps> now look at that. Look it's at a how gnarled, cute it is. disgusting, diseased tree that should be taken down. And what did they do? They hung a gigantic ornament from it because it's festive as. And when you look at it for, with the bent of that tree, it reminds you of Charlie Brown. Yeah. With the one red ornament. It also made me think of the Grinch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had an odd... Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie yeah. Brown tree. Grinch tree. We don't have the rights to the Grinch tree. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or the, the Grouch tree. I don't have the rights to any of that. So, so I'll draw a picture. All right. Yeah. Or get Megan. Well, Megan's too busy. <laughs> Poor Megan. She's, I can't even, I, I'm going to say, get Megan to do it. And I'm like, poor Megan. Stop talking. Stop because talking. Because much like every other school on the planet, where she lives, their schools have gone all virtual. And so now she has all of the kids in the house. Well, um, the way it worked out, and this is in the first few days of, of virtual learning now. Mm -hmm. We're still in that in those first few days. Um, Charlie and Timmy, who are three and four, mm -hmm. were sent off. And the funny thing is... You know, she sent them off to camp. They were sent off to Nana's house where they normally would go. Right. You know, uh, Timmy While is she was working. Timmy is in preschool day. three days a week, and Charlie is just <laughs> Charlie. He's already caught up and wears the same size pajamas as Timmy. He is a force. He's a, any video I've seen of him. He is a force. He's an absolute force of nature. So the I two can't of them, wait until I can actually see them in person and play with them, and we don't have to worry about COVID. yes. So the yeah. two of them were sent off to Nana's, mm -hmm. which means that baby girl Lucy, who's only seven months, and Artie, who is six, are home with Megan. She's got an actual job, mm -hmm. and she's in human resources, so it's kind of a work from home job. She's expected yeah. to answer emails, talk to these people who are having mm -hmm. their their you know benefits crises, right. Oh, look at me. <laughs> I, I, my brain was going, look at you and your improv phone. Show you're your, not ringy ding. Prove you're an improviser without proving you're, you're an, an improviser. improviser. Hello. <laughs> so, so she's talking to the to, uh, <laughs> folks, and Artie has been given this very ambitious, in my opinion, mm -hmm. schedule for a first grader to do multiple Zooms throughout the course of the day. I think it's like three. And there's the, the window for lunch is so narrow Plus, there's all of these uh, assignments that have to be completed within 28 minutes or 20, whatever this, right. the time frame is. It's, it's the same way they would do in school with instruction, but it's they're they're expecting a child at home in a completely different environment to keep the same structure and first, schedule. First grade, it seemed a little ambitious. So, dear Megan, and I, Megan, you can do this again and again and again. I loved it. <laughs> so don't, don't think I was bothered in any way. <laughs> uh, whatever I was doing, whatever nonsense I was doing, probably editing one of mm -hmm. our shows. The, Such nonsense. Well, but the iPad on which I'm editing the show rings with mm -hmm. FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And I answer it, and it's Megan saying, and she's got this look of, would you, she feels like she's imposing on me, help Artie or do this assignment with Artie. His job is to read this list of vocabulary words twice and then go look around the house and see how many of them he can find and then check off the ones that he found. Mm-hmm. 
That's all, awesome. And they're all C words. It's cake and um, canoodle, cup, capers. Ooh, I thought that's an odd vocabulary word for a first grader. That sounds delicious. So he said, like, "What are capers?" I'm like, "Well, you put them on your locks." He's like, "What are locks?" I said, "Well, it's dried salmon. You would put it on your bagel. What's a bagel?" <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going through. It doesn't seem logical to me that capers would be a vocabulary word for a six-year-old, yeah. but the rest of the words made total sense. You know, it was everything. Well, from, I don't know if you're talking about like cartoon capers. I thought that maybe that was it, but then it said, "Now go around the house and find these items." Right. So where are you going to find capers? In the fridge. If they had them, I said, I showed them some of my, I Googled it and I'm holding it up to the thing. <laughs> yeah. So when Megan comes back and capers are checked off, she's like, you can't check off capers. You didn't find capers. <laughs> oh I, I showed him a jar of capers on my phone. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you could check off cup and cape, cake and um, whatever the other one if was. If you had a cupcake, you could check off one. Uh, it's both of them. Exactly. <laughs> But, but was, you did his assignment with him. Well, all I had to do was listen to him right. read and, you know, and make, because he was trying to take the easy way out. He was going, cup, cup, cake, cake. Like, mm-hmm. no, and you're supposed to read the whole list. And then go back and do it and again. And then go back and do it again. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is I increasingly difficult. You know, my kids are in eighth and 10th grade and they finally went virtual. I'm not even going to get into how annoying that was. But uh, in the middle of the week, they're like, man, we decided to go virtual. So it, it's just bad, bad choice. But it, good choice for them going virtual. Okay. But so but you, have, you have all the insane. stuff that you need because some yeah. some folks, you're caught off guard because you may not have well, the Well, no, their last the day Zoom they made them clean their, the, whatever it their is. lockers out. And they have, they, uh, Severe County has had Chromebooks for like the last two or three years. Oh, okay. They do all of their they, work on Chromebooks. So they, like this one, they assign it to the mm-hmm. student at the beginning and then take it back like it's a textbook. Correct. Okay. Now, even the, the Catholic schools do that too. Yeah. Yeah. But their schedules are absolutely insane. They're ridiculous. Well, you showed me. It's like it's it's down to the minute as if they were still in school with the bells going. Right. Well, you don't have bells at home. I mean, I don't know. Well, and I think that, you know, when you are moving between classes, you get a break. You yeah. know what I mean? That's that's you get to go to the restroom or you get to do whatever. But when your schedule is so tight and you've got to figure out, okay, what's my next thing? You got to log into a Zoom and you got to do this. There's no break time. And your house is not as boring as a classroom. You know, you you in classrooms, you're focused. Everything is designed to be focused out in the front of the room. Yeah. yeah. And here at the house, it's you like, got YouTube playing. <laughs> oh, somebody who told me this? Maybe somebody's a teacher. Did we hear this one? Maybe we had heard this when we were at the Carnes Parade that the teachers were saying that they could see the video games playing in the background. Oh, I don't know, yeah. Of this. Did we, you with me when we heard uh-uh. this conversation? No. So the Zoom calls are happening. The kids are supposed to be doing their virtual learning. And they're on there. They're look, they're mm-hmm. talking to the teacher. But the teacher can see what's going on in the house behind them. And, mm-hmm. it's, of course, it's a it's chaos. Right. Like because any normal house. Like any normal house. With it's kids. chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Everything uh, is chaos. But right. it's, you know, un- it's under control, right? I hope. <laughs> are we talking about Steve? So today is the day we talk about Steve's tree service. Well, we started the show talking about a tree that needed to be cut down, so it makes sense. Well, you know, but they hung that big red ornament on it. So I'd I'm keep thinking, it. maybe they'll keep it, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I would keep that tree, and I would, throughout the year, every month, I would hang something new on it. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> that's, that's the type of person I am. Like a big smiley face. Yeah. Well, you know, or a yeah. clown head. January, or... a snowman. Of course. February, a heart. That's what I was going to say earlier. Well, I'll get to that in a minute about how the decorations are going to probably linger longer than you would expect. Right, of course. Because that's the way we are in our family. We keep the decorations up to at least Epiphany. Yeah. But Steve, they'll cut down whatever you want. (laughs) Anytime you want. (laughs) And no matter where you live. You don't like that tree? It's out of here. here. You know, they hire experienced climbers. I actually saw an advertisement on Facebook Jobs. There, some Somebody out there is hiring a tree climber. It's a skill. I mean, um, these guys have a... Uh, they have to, on the one hand, be small enough and lightweight enough that they can go out there on the end of the limb of the tree, mm-hmm. tie it, and then climb back to the safety of the trunk without falling or breaking the branch. Right. And then, once everything is tied in such a way, then they cut it, and it's, you know, it falls it's exactly shree. the way they predict and drop it down. I was very impressed uh, by how they did that because I really thought, 
my tree. You see all those nasty yeah. trees I used to have. Well, I was very impressed I with thought, the cleanup when I came over. Yeah, it was gone. Everything was just gone. Yeah, because the, the time that I had trees cut down in my old house, they left everything, and it was atrocious. It I mean, was the, some places might then hit you up with a second, you know, like, it would be like a bait and switch almost, where they say, oh, no, we charge you for cutting down the trees. Now you want to pay extra for cleanup. That's exactly what happened. And we were like, I can't pay for no. that. No, no. The estimate from Steve's Tree Service included everything. Yeah. And it was still, it was the third estimate that I got. And I'm like, that's the one I want. That's, and this that's is before the they even advertised on the show. I'm like, no, no, no. no, 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 no. Yeah, so thank yeah. you, Steve, for all of the work that you've done. And you can hit them up. And there you can find them on Facebook. Five if you're, stars. Yeah, if you're watching on Facebook, if you come to the link through our Facebook, typically we they're tagged here and then they're down here. Yeah. And you can find them in all find. the places. Terrific. All right. Yeah. So thanks to Steve and Renee. Call 865-257-6214. I can't see that. 865-257-6214. I'm squinty. Well, you can put your reverse glasses on. And... Okay. Ooh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> so I went to Lowe's the other day. Yeah. I needed a space heater. I uh, I, I pay for gas where I live. and in your, Not in your car, but are you talking about like to heat the house? Right. I do pay for gas in my car as well. Well, but... I mean, this, yeah, I think we, this is a gas heated house as well. And I we, we had talked about this previously. Uh, it, it it hasn't even been that cold, and my gas bill because like electric is included, gas is not. That seemed yeah, your bill seemed high to me. But then I talked to a friend of mine who lives down the street. Same shame. Oh, okay. The gas prices apparently are very high. So uh, I'm mm. I'm finagling the system, and I bought a space heater. I bought a nice little tower space heater. Electric or electric? By golly, because then I can plug it in, and I don't pay for electricity. I just pay for the gas and the water and the blah, blah. and. Uh, I was at the Lowe's. Now, be careful where you plug it in, because every place I've ever worked, the, the engineers go ballistic when people plug in their space heaters. Engineers go ballistic over right. anything that they don't have control over. Okay. And I am the engineer of my home, and right. I'm not so you're ballistic. Good. You're I'm, all good. I've already right. plugged it in. It's a ceramic heater. It's wonderful. That's great. It's doing its job. And But I'm at the Lowe's. And when did it become okay to take your dog into Lowe's? It was like a pet smart in there. There that's, were dogs fighting in Lowe's. That's crazy. It was Are they rrr, all rrr, rrr, rrr. emotional support animals? Uh, look, you have emotional everyone in this world has an emotional issue. Leave your stupid dog at home or in the car. Well, well see, I think I love you. I love dogs. I love them so much. I think when it became so uncool to leave the dog in the car. Because you can get, you know Right. You get in it's like it's now it's considered like leaving a baby in the car. So that so now what are you gonna do? I just went like I just I just said leave your stupid dog at home. Oh. I, I do I love dogs. I'm an aspiring dog owner, but I there were so many dogs in Lowe's. <laughs> now I when I last time I went, there were so many birds in Lowe's that I took oh, a picture. Yeah. yeah. I thought this is just crazy because the birds have gotten inside the door and have attacked the bird food, bird seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, storage area <laughs> like, ah, ah, ah. yeah <laughs> no this i i there were probably 15 dogs That's, in Lowe's. I, I, what, um my, you said put a picture of one dog on there i thought well everyone's yeah everyone brings that one uh -uh. dog you see that one dog every once in a while no 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 this that's the, too many dogs the, i'm in the part i was like did i miss like was there a sign that maybe there was like an adoption day no it was just people taking their dogs to Lowe's. well i mean the knoxville tries to promote itself as a dog friendly town again with I all love of the dogs. I restaurants want dogs. where you can go bring your dog and sit in the patio that's fine that's fine it all doesn't right. bother me at all i saw a guy uh go booty over tea kettle with a dog fight um on a patio this past summer or two last summer yeah. and it was hilarious but I mean, that does seem like a lot. And, and didn't you buy more things at Lowe's while you were there with your space heater? Or was that a separate trip? Huh? Your tree. Oh yeah, I did buy my Christmas tree at Lowe's. Because you weren't, you were on the fence about whether or not you were going to even get one. Well, I mean, we talked about that. Did that I got my Christmas tree? Was that on the show? We talked about no, you running through the. We didn't. We we talked about it before. Oh, okay. I've slept a lot, or not enough. Yeah, I did buy my Christmas tree at Lowe's. This was a separate trip. 
But there was an issue because yeah. you yeah. just wanted to buy the tree and take it home, and they decide they're they're well, just closed. Yeah, well, well not I, all the way closed, but that section. I went. It, it was night because I thought it wouldn't be as busy, and it was when I had the time. Now, Lowe's is a, like a twenty four hour disco. It's, it's, it's it hot. Really <laughs> is. It is so busy. So I went into the garden center. I parked in front of the garden center. Went in the garden center because that's where they sell the Christmas. That's trees. where I bought all that. Yeah. Stuff in the I bought a ton of I, stuff there. I this caved. Summer. I bought a real tree, so I'm at the Lowe's. I'm like, look, and they had cute little trees, and they weren't that expensive. So mm-hmm. I got my tree, and I walked it over to the checkout, and the guy as goes, you do, you're gonna have to carry it up front. We're closed, and it's a real tree, so it's sticky, right? And I was like, and big um, and heavy. How like, heavy is it? It oh, no, what? I okay. it was it was heavy, but not heavy. All right, and I only got a little seven foot tree. It's not. It's pretty good. And he goes, we're closed. You're going to have to take it up front. I was like, oh, okay. Well, um, they'd close the gate on the garden center. It was like 7 o'clock. So now you're trapped inside. So I mean, You can go through the main store. Through. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay. Um, can you put it through the netting? Because they had the little netting thing sitting right there behind the chain. Which said, compresses it and, and makes it nice so you can put it on the top of your car. Right. Makes it a little more aerodynamic. Or put it in your car like I did. Do they, um, do they put a, a stand on the bottom? No. I put it in the stand myself. Okay. Have you ever lived anywhere where they nail wood onto the bottom to make a stand? No. It's weird. It sounds weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you that in a minute. Because in California, that's how they do it. And it's normal. And it blew my mind. But go I ahead. I mean, I'd be fine with that. All right. But they... I was like, can you put it through the, the netting the thing? The netting thing, yeah. It's right. a, and he's it's like, a he's, already, he's already gone home. Right? Isn't it like a, a big old right. thing? Right. It's a shoot. You... I would love to put myself through it. It'd be really cool. Um, that can be arranged. So he goes, he's already gone home. All and right. He picks you... up his money tray and he like leaves. And I'm the only person out there. And so I remove the chain and I put my tree through the netting and I took their scissors and I tied it off and I slung it over my shoulder and I carried that some out to the front of the lows and i and there was like this man he's like uh do you need some help i was like i've got it now lumber jill um, over here because like okay and so i got up to self-checkout <laughs> i took it to self-checkout and i was like i need to buy this and the girl goes oh oh okay is there a price tag on it no and it, do they sell it by the and pound she, like how do they do it she like looks it up because it's got a little uh like colored like produce colored mark on all right it. So she like walks over, she beats, I've still got it on my oh, shoulder. because it's seven foot, there's certainly yeah. color code for seven foot. I've yeah. got it on my shoulder and I pull my debit card out of my back pocket. I swipe it and I'm still holding the stupid tree and then I have to leave and I have to walk all the way across the parking lot to the garden center. I so desperately would love to see the security cam video of this. In my hatchback car and I go, shoo, and I shove it in my little hatchback and the, the, it's as long as my car. I like I couldn't put my seatbelt on because I jammed it into my seatbelt. And I got home and I put in a stand and then I drank a beer and then I decorated my chair. So, all right, that's a good. <laughs> so in in Charlie, we used to watch Charlie Brown Christmas. I grew yeah. up in the East Coast in New York, and we would have the kind of stand where you would have to try to put it together, and it would have a bowl for water, mm-hmm. and you have to put the tree down and tie this and tighten yeah. the screws, and it would be off, and Dad would get mad. Oh, it and took then... me a while to get it all straight. Okay, so this is our life. We have we've purchased one of these things. We try to every we try to get new ones occasionally. Mm-hmm. We try to put Sprite in there, uh-huh. thinking that someone told us that would help. And this is in the old days when we used to have live trees and we'd yeah. go buy them every year. And it was just like, oh, uh, uh. we moved to California. Mm-hmm. And having grown up watching a Charlie Brown Christmas, I always thought it was a cop out when all the trees on there had these little wooden X's yeah. on the bottom. Like, because they can't draw a tree stand. <laughs> yeah. That just looks so fake. It looks so stupid. It's not real. And then yeah. it's not how you sell Christmas trees. They're all in a pile. Yeah. And you have to hold it up and shake it and do mm-hmm. the things, right? We moved to California. And, and they take two pieces of plywood, huh. and they're sh- they're sliced in such a way that it's like one piece of plywood, but then they right. you can twist it. You can go, Shing. and it's nailed into the bottom of the Christmas tree, and they have them standing up, so That's you can awesome. walk amongst them and go, oh, I like that one, and they're like, okay, right. and then they whoosh it through the the netting thing for you, or. They may actually even take off the the X right. to put it through the net and then and then put it back on at the end, or they'll take a plastic uh, bowl, mm-hmm. right, and like okay, and they put that up against the bottom of the tree, and then <laughs> they put the X on the outside of the plastic bowl and they nail it they into your tree, in and you're done. 
All right. It's all one piece. Well, I mean, there are Christmas it's... tree lots where they're like standing up. And but you I'm can, saying like... those wooden X things, how come they they're don't real. have them in the East? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I or mean, you guys look it up. We're closer to Bethlehem than those other guys. <laughs> Real meaning at Christmas. So I realized I was hanging my stockings, the mine and the kids' stockings on the mantle. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to have to stuff my own stocking. <laughs> I'm sure there'd be plenty of people who would be happy to help you. <gasps> Which reminds me, tomorrow's episode, I have to tell you about something. There are plenty of people out there no, who'd be more than happy to help you. I, with that. I prefer to stuff my own stocking. Okay. <laughs> At least right now, thank you. All right. Yeah, I'm on a I'm on a solo stocking stuffing sabbatical. <laughs> it's the Christian and Frank show. We're on YouTube. Please subscribe. Because where else can you get daily content like this? We're gonna get fired from a job that we just got. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you optimistic? <laughs> That meeting isn't until later today. Bye. You know that meeting is at two. <laughs> that... <sighs> and uh, please do uh, listen to us on all the audio apps and mainly the YouTubes. Thank you so much. Bye. Christian please Frank. subscribe. Say you. Stuff. I forgot that meeting stocking. was today. Great way to, way to go. And it is tomorrow. No, today's, isn't it today? No, it's tomorrow. What's it? Oh. You All don't right. even know who you are. It's tomorrow. Yep. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new Rona mask. <laughs> you look like Deadpool.